you're fortunate that you came home and you the, the locks weren't changed because if you were mine, the locks would have been changed and you'd have been getting served. Bang! Bang! It's good! Nothing left needs to be said. Welcome to the Do Better Podcast. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll be all set. The people talk, Theo Coop listens. I did part one of the worst wife ever. This is part two she calls back. Let's get it. Mr. Samuels is going to remember this lady directly off the bat, which is funny because he never remembers these guests because he gets so many. Uh -huh. Have you been on here before? Yes, I have. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, what's the update? Um, I'm learning to be a submissive wife and to know that um, my Ms. husband... Wife? Yeah. You're He's married? A I'm the one who was like, I'm married and I want it. You're the one who was trying to, to get rid of your husband to go back to the other high value man. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. yeah I got a good memory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did your husband see that show? Yes, he did. Oh, I bet he did. Uh, what was the conversation? That's what I want to know. He said, it's like. He should have said, get the fuck out. <laughs> Okay, you embarrass me. Do you want to be with me? And do I make you happy? Do I give you enough? And he is enough. It's just I didn't realize that. Stop the cap. He's not enough. If he was enough, you wouldn't have made that first video. Just think about this for a second. Put yourself in this individual's shoes. When you're just sitting back relaxing, somebody texts you a link. Hey, Jose, you might want to check this out. You pull out your phone like, hey, man, what's going on? And then you see your wife on the internet show saying she doesn't want you. She wants her old man. How devastating is that? <laughs> it's hilarious for a content creator and a spectator's point of view. Keep the jokes coming. But if you were the husband in this situation, talk about feeling a certain type of way. Jesus. Okay. Um. After he, what did you say to him? I said I was thinking about my ex because he was, he is high value and he was just closer to age. Um, but with going on to that story, my husband, he intervened from me marrying my ex. So it was like something to say, should I, I guess he won to get me. Um, since our conversation, um, have you had any therapy? Yeah, I I am in therapy every month. Huh? So she said she was in therapy in the first video. Um, I do that. Um, it's just what I need to do is I just have to stick with one thing and stick with one person because um, I feel like my my energy when I do meet men um, that it's just a different way. I don't think my beauty gets that what much attention, but what is it, it? her beauty doesn't get that much attention. You marry. Why is a married woman looking for attention from other men? It doesn't, it doesn't matter what attention you get from other men, ma'am. You, you're married. Yeah, I am married. Yes, I am married. I, I'm not, I'm not in a box. Like I still have to talk to people as for business. But why are you worried about getting? <sighs> but that's not attraction. But if you're a salesperson, like there's something that has to be first being, oh, I want to buy it and it happens. And me, and I'm sorry to keep stopping the video, this is, just screams excuses to be a whore. <laughs> Do I smell a whore? No. And you, I mean, I'm, I'm a, come on now, who are you talking to? I spent, okay. What is she talking about? You need Why to, do you need to be a, appealing to other men physically? No, I don't. I do not. I do not. I well, do not at all. It's coming across that you don't get attention from other men or this or that. And honestly, if you're a salesperson, then, you know, I get the point of wanting to be a to build rapport, but that's not yeah. important. That's that's why I'm trying to understand because you're back with your husband. Or you you guys didn't d divorce, and he's older than you, right? Yes. You have any kids? Yes, we have a child together. Yeah, I made a mistake in the first video as well. And uh, I made a correction that um, I said that she was a single mom. No, she only had the one son with her husband. Uh, how many years difference between you two? 26 years. 
So my question is, how have you made up? How have you made it up to him? Good question. Hard hitting question. How has she made? She embarrassed her husband in front of the world. Let's see how she made it up to him, ladies and gentlemen. We stayed together. <laughs> <laughs> How thoughtful of you. <laughs> she said we stayed together. No, he stayed with you. He didn't leave your ass like he should have. Because if it was Theo Coop, ha. Like the minute I saw that video, I would have forwarded it to you and said, This you? Okay, bet. Block. <laughs> we stayed together. Oh, you are such a kind woman, ma'am. The lack of self awareness. Um. You no, have you made, uh, what happened was pretty bad, ma'am. It, it wasn't, well, okay, it was. I'm telling you, she just, it wasn't, it doesn't register. She doesn't think what she did was that big of a deal. And, um, you just, I just talked to him about it. It was, as I said, I was thinking about. Right, and I'm asking you, what have you, how have you made it up to him? How have you um, balanced that out? I um I, you stayed? I I stayed, yes, I stayed. Um yeah, her ass wasn't going away. Just been more focused on us, just in um really putting too much effort do into you, uh, Do you think if your husband hurt you, broke your heart, embarrassed you, did something along those lines? Do you think he would have to just apologize or would he have to actually make it up? Oh. Okay. Would have so like to when a man, like you got the old school thing in the movie, you, you forgot the anniversary, you forgot the birthday. That's why you're in the florist. You had to buy a yep. gift to make it up. All right. What have you. That's what I'm trying to hear, well, and I haven't, I haven't heard that yeah, from you. I have. I, I you heard her, Mr. Samuels. Her gift to him was. Not breaking up with him. <laughs> bought my husband a new phone. I got us all new phones. Um, I've new been phone. like following his lead. I've been going for events like dancing together. I've been keeping us busy. Like any of our spare time, I I'm asking. I'm asking. Fishing. Okay. Um, I gave like we have more intimacy and you know, things like that. We're more intimate. All right. And I heard she bought him a new cell phone. Hey, baby, sorry I tried to get a new husband. Take this new iPhone, you idiot. She says they go out dancing more and they're more intimate. <laughs> That's all you got to do, man. I think it should match what I remember that to be. I'm going to make a suggestion, ma'am, that um, you sound like you got a sound like you have a decent man. Yeah, he's great. He's great. You're fortunate that you came home and you the, the locks weren't changed because if you were mine, the locks would have been changed and you'd have been getting served. Bang! Bang! It's good! Nothing left needs to be said. So you need to understand how fortunate you are and stop worrying about getting other men's attention and recognize that you are fortunate to still be married. Yes, sir. And treat that man with respect because you you embarrassed yourself and him in front of the world. And life happens. But what I'm saying is focus on your man and let him focus on you instead of you focusing on you. Make him your focus. And get off the internet. Get off social media. Be happy with the life you have. Every woman isn't as fortunate as you are, but you have a child and you have the man in, in that child's life. Be happy for what you have. There's a lot of women that would trade places with you in a heartbeat. How I many women out here who are single moms struggling just with the basics and you have a man that's taking care of you? Come on now. And see if that, I think that'll be a better outcome for you both. Um, yeah, so I'm glad, I'm glad you, I'm glad he decided to uh, stay, but I, you do, yeah, you would have to make that up. Uh, not what I'm hearing, but you're not my wife. You're his wife. Well, what so, can I do to make it up? Well, you need to ask. Me. I don't. I don't know. And I say that's not. I don't want to get there. But I just want you to understand that if your man did something to you, he'd have to do more than apologize. Exactly. He'd have to 
uh, pay his debt to society or pay, it, it has to, it has to match, you know, the, the, the punishment has to match the crime. The apology has to match the infraction. Exactly. And what you said, ma'am, was, I mean, it's still up. It's still live. So who are reacting to it a year later? <laughs> and what I'm hearing is a bottom of phone about us phones. Okay. Then he ain't got nothing. <laughs> Wait, um, I got him a new phone. I, I, it's, ma'am, it's beyond phones. You didn't hurt his. You didn't hurt his pride. You didn't hurt his phone. You, you hit his ego and his pride in public. Exactly. And that's what I'm. You're not understanding. So, uh, my point is, talk to your man, but understand that why y'all are together. Because just put your marriage and your man first. Right, because I'm gonna tell that. you right. Well, because I'm telling you right now, uh, go in the comment section on those videos. None of them men was trying to be your your husband. None. So, I mean, just fix it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Just fix it. All right, man. Um, glad all right. to see y'all together. Bye bye. You know, man. I'm gonna tell the audience, man. Between a man and a woman, there's always some sort of special understanding. You know, it always happens, man. So yeah, yeah. If y'all don't remember that video. Ooh. So I wanted to say a couple things. First, I won't be doing any more Kevin Samuels video. What, mother... Uh, joking, joking, I kid, I kid. But just a reminder that when I do react to Mr. Samuels videos, I try to react to videos that haven't been covered that much. And the reason I bring that up is that I kind of forgot my rule when covering part one of this video. But you guys like this and wanted to go ahead and drop part two. So, got that out the way. And Mr. Samuels made two great points at the end of that call. Is One is when he told her just to focus on her, her marriage, man. Stop worrying about everything else, all these other distractions. Fixing the awkward situation that you put your husband into. But this is a woman who I think genuinely doesn't believe what she did was that big of a deal. And that alone is jaw dropping in itself. Hey, that's the world we live in. Second thing that I thought was a great point was at the end when she asked him, well, how does she fix the situation with her husband? And Mr. Samuel said, talk to your husband about it. He doesn't have all the answers. Th certain things he cannot answer for you. You have to figure that out, and you should have been down on your knees kissing your husband's butt for months now, and you haven't been able to figure out what exactly you need to remedy that situation. But again, I don't believe this woman cares about that. She thinks that she did her husband a favor by not leaving, and that is mind-blowingly asinine to me. But hey, I think along the same lines as Mr. Samuels is that if that was my wife, if I hopped online to see Miss Cooper like, oh no, she wanted to upgrade and get Theo the fuck out of here, shit, I would grant her her wish post haste, I tell you that. But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just a pothead talking on YouTube. But you guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. Do better.